Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one we're going to be looking at Hieta's questline. Now, when I first started recording this, and this quest is spread out over a fair amount of the game, a lot of it takes place in the Lakes of Leonia, and once I've finished this kind of future Joe introduction, it's going to kind of head off as if um, I hadn't said anything because I'd already recorded it. But at the time, I didn't know what was preventing um, Vike's invasion, which appears to be the I, either at the very least it's the minor Erd tree boss. I don't know if it's this one specifically, but the wiki states it's if you defeat all of the area bosses. This issue does seem to have been fixed as of patch 1.04. So if you're suffering with this issue, try updating your game and then coming back to the Church of Inhibition and you should receive Vike's invasion as normal. I actually tested it with this, with this character, which was the walkthrough character just now, and it does appear to be working, even though I pretty much finished the game, which is real good. Alternatively speaking, if you can't or don't want to upgrade, update your game, uh, what I recommend doing then is just making sure that you don't interfere with any of the area bosses before receiving Vike's invasion over on the end. Now I was obviously experimenting with exactly what it was that was causing it and where we could kind of push it before we had to take the Vike invasion. So the rest of the video, some of it may seem a little bit off, but we will be showing all of the Shibiri Grape and Hieta locations as well as all of her dialogue. So this should still be helpful, will still serve as a full walkthrough for Hieta's questline and I hope you guys will enjoy. The stage that we are at right now is that I have two grapes in my inventory currently, especially because I've been recording little bits of this around, but I'm going to show you guys where everything is. Firstly, the first grape that she is going to want is going to be in the back end of Stormvale Castle. This area is after you have defeated Godric. I am uncertain as to whether or not you can get in here beforehand because I, I don't know whether or not this door will be open or closed based on whether or not you have defeated him or not. So just haven't been around here during that, during that instance. I can't remember whether it's under this window or on the floor above, but you'll find the first grape in here. Once you have that first grape, you you will want to come and find Hieta, who should be over on this cliffside just here, right next to the Grace. Just for ease, this is where we are on the map. We're going to give her the first grape. Is someone there? My name is Hieta, and I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next, but when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Um, so now when we rest, she should move to her second position, which is also quite close to her second um, grape. This is going to be in the ruins along here, can't remember the name, Purified Ruins. So I'll see you guys over there in a second. So then, from the grace, we are going to want to head into this main set of rooms here, which is where the grape is going to be. It's going to be next to um, a weapon as well, I can't remember what it is, and she will be waiting for us just on the bottom wall of the ruin just across the way. Um, interestingly enough, I think it lets you summon a spirit here if you need to. We're going to try to avoid most of the fighting just to keep things fairly simple for the sake of the video. So we just want to pass on through. What we're looking for is a little, like, tent. I think it's a tent. No, it's not the tent. It's going to be actually in the ruin. This is going to go badly now. Here it is. Here it is. Looking for a breakable floor, which is going to allow us in for the grape. As you might imagine, I am not interested in these bad guys right now. Here's our Shibiri grape. I, th I think it's a weapon. We might as well go and grab it whilst we're here. Oh no, two fingers alien. There we go. That's going to give you extra faith. Lord knows we've got to keep the faith, right? Just get out of for a second. We're going to go over to where the two is. Need to stop getting distracted. This game's so good at distracting me. So, straight across the way, and we'll have Hieta's Second position. Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. 
Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you seem somehow firmer. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most kind. May the blessing of... And that is going to cause her to move again. So her third position then is going to be a little bit further up the river here, the Gate Town Bridge. I'm going to play how we acquire the third grape now. Let's grab the third Shibiri grape. This is going to be at the Scavenger's Shack. There will be a grace down here, and I believe you need to have Edgar's quest progressed to its end down in the Weeping Peninsula. This is going to involve finding his daughter along the road near the north of the Weeping Peninsula, then finding him um, within the uh, castle grounds, defeating the boss, speaking to him again, then speaking to him again when he finds that his daughter has died. And then when we come to the Avengers Shack, which should happen in a second, uh, as you can see, we are um, on the western bank of uh, Leonia of the Lakes. There's a Grace just here if you want to use that. It's kind of the closest place you can come up on, on the uh, on the beach here just off the shore. Then head south so that you can see the shack. It's just ahead of us here. You can see between the two rock points here. And we should notice in a second that we can't summon the horse up, which is why... And I came in here unmounted, which is happening now. Uh, he's going to be pretty much right here uh, on top of this body when he comes in. I'm just going to tag the grace so we can travel to and from this area if we want to. And then here he is, Mr. Edgar. He is pretty mean. Um, he does have a lot of abilities. Uh, as a lot of the invaders do in this game, they're all pretty quite strong in some way. We don't really want to give him a chance to get much off, though. If we can help it, oh my. He's probably going to heal in a second if we're not careful. No. I'm just going to stay on top of him, and that is going to be the third Shibiri Grape, which will allow us to continue Hieta's questline. And with the third grape in your possession, which you will have gotten from Avengers Shack, I'm sorry if this isn't the smoothest. I'm not very... well, this is my first kind of game where I've tried to do these kinds of videos. So now we are going to be over Cape Bridge Town, and Hieta's going to be here, waiting for us to speak to her again with the third grape. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabiri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. No. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own... So those noises I heard were... <laughs> Sorry. I'm alright now. Don't mind me. Now then, what we are going to want to do is take a rest of the grace, and then we're going to speak to her again. Ah. Is that you over there? I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail. So faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. I've gleaned something. I'm certain now. So now when she rests, she's going to move to her next... Now when we rest, should I say, she's going to move to her next position. Her next position is going to be at Bellum Church, which is where we're going next. And once we get here, as you can see, she's going to be waiting for us. Oh, hello. Right here. Is that you over there? Have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? They're special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. I would truly love to try one. The distant light seems far closer than before. But I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Cool. So she's asking, asking for the fingerprint, fingerprint grape. I'll learn to talk one day, I promise. And that is going to come from an invader that invades up near this church. 
So to get there, you are going to want to come along the right hand side of this cliff just here, which will allow you to get to the Grand Lift of Dectus grace point here, which is what I'm going to use as a shortcut. Now then, from here, I'm going to attempt to get to where the invasion should be without taking any rests and without sorting out the Frenzy Tower. This could be difficult, and I may end up taking a lot of damage out of this, so I apologise if this ends up looking messy. Again, uh, we need to go... To go oh yeah, I came too far left. Okay, so we need to go over the cliff here, like this. And the reason we came... We, and the reason I advised coming along this way is because if you look over this way, there are, like, catapults and stuff, and they are more accurate than they have any business being, and they will do a lot of damage to you. So... We are not trying to take out the Eye of Sauron up on top of there, we are trying to rush past it. So we are instead going to just run underneath these trees, where hopefully we will be able to take cover from the Frenzy. Now once you're under the cover of the trees, the actual Frenzy doesn't affect you, so I'm going to wait for this to go down. With the Frenzy gone, we're going to pass around and see if we can get through, to the, get through the village without taking too much damage. Nope, it's going to kill me. Wow. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. kind of mean that it takes us off the horse. Now I'm aware we could be using things like resistances and stuff, but I really just want to get through here as quickly as possible to see exactly what it is that allows us to get the invasion. And then we'll try and, um, through process of elimination, see how we can maybe stop the invasion. That's the plan. So we're going to let this guy kill us if he invades, which he is doing, that's good. This is the sign that he is, in fact, invading. Excuse me. Cool. So we have Fingerprint Reich. Defeating this guy at this point will reward you with the Fingerprint Grape. So I'm going to let this guy kill me, and then we're going to try switching off the tower. Okay then, so here we are, approaching the church again, after having defeated... Um, Runner over in Real Car Academy, and we are still being invaded. So, whatever the glitch is, it would seem that once you've been um, invaded once, it really isn't. Uh, well, it, it must it must must just keep you permanently flagged for the invasion. So, at this point, then, I really don't have anything that could uh, prevent um, Vike from invading here. So, I'm just going to kill him for this one. Oh wow, you, uh, you caused madness, that could be bad. I could do the bleed on you, come here sir. Wow, oh my gosh, I'm stuck! I can't move! The, uh, the stagger there was the, the biggest problem. Can you not do that please sir? Oh wow, he's got like a madness laser. So anyway, Fingerprint Vike is down, which will give us the Fingerprint Eye, or the Fingerprint Grape, which we can now obviously go and give to Hyata, who is waiting for us over at Bellum Church. Okay, so let's give her the grape. Special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the brute fingers. Please, could you donate a Fingerprint Grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Oh. Oh. A fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. <laughs> oh. How sweet. Yet. How it burns. <laughs> Thank you. I've composed myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Cool. So with that being done then, she should now move on when we rest at the grace. And we aren't going to see her again until very late in the game. So we are talking um, when you go underground under the capital of Lindor, which is kind of like around this around this area somewhere on the map that you can see right now. But basically, you're not going to want to continue the video until uh, basically you have access to the shunning grounds which are under the capital. It's quite a high level area uh, and that is going to be the final part of this video. Okay then, so here we are closing out Hieta's questline. We are currently beyond the Cathedral of the Forsaken. I'll make sure there's a link to how to do the drop-off puzzle for this area as it can take a while to figure out. 
to access this area, we'll need to have defeated Margit and Moog. So, uh, you know, if you guys need a subterranean shunning grounds walkthrough, as obviously on the channel, you guys can go ahead and use that in the walkthrough playlist. And down here we can find Kieta. If you've not been down here before, and nobody's shown you, go ahead and roll against this. This will give you access to the deep root depths if you want it, but here we can have our final interaction with Hieta. So you're here as well, are you? I realized as we've talked, I'll be a maiden, and you, surely a lord, go to the door ahead. After divesting yourself of your possessions, it will surely open, and the three fingers will welcome you. May the flame of chaos find purchase within you. Okay, so. Get your clothes up. And we can interact with the three fingers. Something of note here. In terms of ordering, two things you can do. You can do this now. And then we can go and speak to Hieta. And we'll get a seal. So if you faith builds out there, this may well be a good idea. If you still want to have access to all three endings at the end of the game, you will need to ensure that you complete Millicent's questline. I should have that done pretty soon after this one's finished, as we're not far from where that is, but just bear that in mind. Alternatively, you can also come here to interact with this after you've defeated the last boss, meaning that you defeat the last boss and then come here for this and not have to worry about Millicent's quest or getting the needle from her, which is an option. Unless, of course, that gets patched, but it worked in the walkthrough, so I'm saying that you could do that now. Either way, let's interact with the three fingers. With that done then, we can go and return to Hieta. Once we're over here, she should be nice and happy. Oh. The flame of chaos has nestled within you. Could you please rest your hand upon me? Burn me with the flame to make me your maiden. Your maiden, allow me to divine them. All that there is came from the one great. Then came fractures, and births, and souls. But the greater will made a mistake. Torment, despair, 
affliction, every sin, every curse, every one born of the mistake. And so, what was borrowed must be returned, melted all away with the yellow chaos flame, until all is one again. Those who gave me grapes howled without words, saying they wished they were never born. They come, their lord, take their torment, despair, their affliction, every sin, every curse, and melt it all away. As the lord of chaos, no more fractures, no more birth. And there ends Yeta's questline as our maiden. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys, and I shall see you all in the next one.